Alrighty, we're on part three now. We're going to try to make a code map from the tree. So in part two, we made a tree. We made this tree out of letter frequencies. Now we want to make a code map. Here's what a code map looks like. Uh, so for the letter A, we would encode it as zero. And for the letter B, the way you find out the encoding is you start at the root and go down to B. One, zero, there should be a one on that arc. One, zero, one, that's B. C would be one, zero, zero, there it is. D would be one, 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 there's D. E would be one, one, zero, one, there it is. And F would be one, one, zero, zero. So this is a map that maps letters to the variable length encoding according to our Huffman encoding. Uh, first, we have to make sure we understand about maps. Let's say D, uh, dict. A dict is Python's way of saying a map. And so you say D of A is 42. What's D of, of A? So a dict or a dictionary or a map uh, is like a list, only the indexes can be arbitrary values, such as letters in this case. Otherwise, you think of it list-like and that it's, uh, you know, you can have D of 42, a D of say zero is eight. Only now instead of just, uh, again, instead of just integers, I can have letters or in fact arbitrary values as, as uh, these are called keys, these are values. Fine. So this is a map or a dictionary, and it's the result of passing this tree in, creating this, uh, uh, created the tree out of this, and then trying to create this code map. Fine, fine, fine. Here we go. So to begin with, we're going to uh, recursively walk this data structure in a very similar way to how we printed it. Way back in print tree, we're going to uh, walk through the tree recursively. We're going to, if, if we're at a, at a leaf, we're done. But if we're not at a leaf, we'll recursively walk to the left side and then to the right side. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our resulting code map. Okay. Uh, and then we will uh, walk the tree for this code tree using this code map. And the, as you're going, you have to remember uh, the prefix or the code or the call code if you would the code so far okay so the code so far and the code initially is is empty if as we go to the left it'll become zero as we go to the right one see when we go to the left here since the code's already one it'll be one zero so hopefully this will make sense as i do the following and when we're done the map will have our answer we have to write a function here a helper function walk tree Actually, we don't have to put it inside here. If you want, we can put it out here. Walk tree, it takes a code tree, it takes a code map, and it takes a code prefix, the code so far, okay? And here's what we do. Uh, if we are a leaf, do something. Otherwise, do something else. Let's do, let's do this case first. We're not a leaf, we're an interior node. If we're an interior node, the 100, the 55, the 25, the 30. You want to walk the tree on your left child and then your right child, okay? Well, remember that a tree has uh, its value followed by left child followed by right child, okay? So let's go ahead here and do this equals the tree. Fine. We'll walk the tree of the left child using the same map. The map is going to say always the same map. It's the result, basically. This is our result. It's going to say it's going to map letters back to their variable code. But the prefix changes. The prefix was the old prefix plus the fact that we're going left, add a zero onto it. And then you want to walk the tree off to the right for child one. And then on the on the on the right side we add a one. That's all. And then when we're done, we'll go ahead and return our code map. Okay. Actually, we don't have to return the code map there. We've modified it. So, uh, so now the only question is when you when you get to a leaf, that's when you finally have an answer. One, one, one. Okay, I'm here. I'm at D. My prefix is one, one, one. My code tree is just this leaf. My code map, I have to modify because what I want to do basically is say code map of D equals 111. Of course, not just for D, but whatever leaf node I'm in, and 111 is whatever that code prefix is. So the 111 would be the code prefix, 
And what's that label? Well, here, because where the leaf, child zero and child one are, or don't exist, but the value, right, is just code tree of zero. And inside that value was what? We said it was, if you recall, look up here, it is a frequency and a label, right? So it is a frequency and a label. We don't care about the frequency at this point. I don't care that D happens 16. I just need the label. The label is going to be D in this case. So uh, when I get to a leaf, uh, the leaf is guaranteed to be a letter. That label is going to hold the letter. And the prefix is going to hold the sequence of ones and zeros to get down there. Okay, That's it. And when I, oops, pardon me. And when I run this, uh, we have a syntax error because <laughs> we, how do we know if we're a leaf? Well, we're a leaf if the length of my tree uh, is equal to one because then I only have the value. I don't have a left child or right child. And I run this and tree is not defined because that would be code tree. And in fact, we pass. So this combination takes in a code tree which looks like this, which looks like this, and spits out the code map which looks like this. We now have a map that we can take letters and produce variable length encoding. Great.